Hey YouTube, today I'm doing a quick video just to show you how you can quickly resize pictures in Windows 11. I already have a video up on my channel on how to do this in Windows 10 and the process is pretty similar. But check that out if you're using Windows 10. Here, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up wherever you're storing your pictures. If it's in your documents folder, in this case I created a folder on my desktop called Pics. Now you'll see each one of these pictures is over 4 megs each. So you put these four together, you're talking about, it's about 17 megs, which is pretty large, especially if you're gonna send these to somebody. So the quickest way to resize these pictures is if you wanna select all pictures on your, there's two ways to do it, but on your keyboard, you could either hit the control key and the A together. If you hit control and A on your keyboard, it will highlight everything. That's the quickest way to do it. That is one way to highlight it. Another way to highlight it is if you hold the control key down, and if you select with your mouse, you can selectively choose which ones you want to highlight. So if there are certain pictures, you hold down the control key and you can select or unselect by clicking with your mouse. That's another way to do it as well. In this case, I'm going to select all the pictures that are in this directory. Once you do that, if you right click, you're going to see a menu comes up. On this menu, you want to go down to where it says show more options. Once you get to show more options, you want to look for the option that says send to. Under send to, you want to scroll down to where it says mail recipient. You want to left click with your mouse on the mail recipient. You're going to see that a box pops up. This box is going to allow you to pick your new picture size. So in this case, for viewing on most computer screens, 1024 by 768 is fine. If you want something that's a little larger, you can go 1280 by 1024. Or if you want it small, you can make it even smaller. I want to show you that even using the large size, the total new size of these pictures is only going to be, it's going to be about a megabyte and a half. So it's much, much smaller than the original one. So... I'm going to choose attach. Now what that's gonna do is that is gonna open up whatever your default mail program is on Windows. So if you're using the mail app for the Microsoft mail app, that will open up. If you're using Outlook, then you'll wind up having Outlook open up. It will by default choose whatever the default mail app that is set on your Windows PC. Okay, you're going to see a window that pops up with the pictures in your default mail app. Um, so now you see we have the four pictures here. What I want to do is I want to click the down arrow. And there's an option to select all. I could detach these one by one, but it's much simpler to do it all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose select all, which is going to highlight all of the pictures. Then I'm going to hit the down arrow again. And I'm going to choose save as. When I choose save as, I'm going to go in this case, you're going to go and put them wherever you want your picture saved. In this case, for simplicity, I'm going back into my pictures folder. But by default, it's going to try and save them in your documents folder. And if that's where you want them, that's fine. In this case, I'm going back to my pictures folder that I had before. I'm going to create a new folder. We'll call, I'm going to call it temp just so I have a place to put them. Once I go into the location that I want them, I choose OK. It will detach all of those photos. Once you've done that, you could actually close this. You no longer need that. Now, if you look under my pics folder, here is my temp folder that I created. See, look at the difference in the size of the pictures. The pictures are now much, much smaller than they were. All of these together are about a megabyte and a half as opposed to 17 meg. It's a huge difference. Um, so if you're looking for a way to easily resize pictures, try this. This should work out great for you. It's a great way to do this, uh, especially if you have a lot of pictures to do. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, check out some of my other videos. Uh, have a great day.